So after a great performance yesterday, offensively, defensively, and pitching-wise, the Jays hit the ball fine today, but they gave up 13 runs, 16 hits, and commit two errors um, as they lose 13-7 to the Minnesota Twins. And I guess now go home with a split. That's stupid. Because you look at the way this game started. Instantly, first inning, I'm frustrated, so I'm not using the darn umbrella. Josh Donaldson, it's his 29th home run of the season. The guy is on an absolute tear. You know, and then Ryan Goins walks on four pitches with the bases loaded, walks in a run, it's 2 nothing. Then Rafi Lopez singles, it's 4 nothing in the first inning. And then in the second, Josh Donaldson up again, he hits another home run, his 30th home run of the season. Blue Jays up. I mean, it's like 5 nothing, And I'm like, this is fantastic. And here comes Joe Biagini. Clean first inning. And then in the second inning, he gives up a home run to Eddie Rosario. Home run to Byron Buxton. A single to Brian Dozier. Uh, on, a, on, an er- on a fielder's choice error by uh, Ryan Goins. Joe Maurer. Uh, well, I guess Jason Castro scores. And then Jorge Polanco grounds into a fielder's choice. Uh, Brian Dozier scores. Byron Buxton doubles to left. Uh, Jorge Polanco scores on the play. That is right. That was a seven-run second inning. So the Jays went up 5 nothing going into the bottom of the second. Left the second inning. Down 7-5. And it just got worse from there. We moved to the fifth inning. And I'm just going to keep going here. Uh, what happened? Jason Castro singled home. Eduardo Escobar scores. Joe Maurer hit a... Uh, uh, oh, would you look at that? Joe Maurer hits a grand slam. Yeah, I lost track at this point because I'm, I'm I stopped watching because it was so pointless. Then Eddie Rosario hits another home run. You know, at this point, I what was the score? Thirteen five. Jays were down a mile. They start to show a tiny bit of fight, like a tiny bit, as Justin Smoke doubles to center. Ezekiel Carrera scores. Then Bautista grounds into an out. One run scores there. It's 13-7. The Jays' pitching and defense sucked today. The offense, I mean, yeah, they scored seven runs. They only had six hits, though. So they really didn't hit the ball all that well. Josh Donaldson, two for four in the game. He was dynamite, hitting 268 now on the season. More like Josh Donaldson numbers. But the story of this game, the big story, Joe Biagini goes an inning and a third, giving up five hits, Six runs, four were earned, one walk, and does not strike out a batter. Look, can we just throw B. Genie against the uh, Orioles and that's it? Because it seems like he only does well against the O's. Tim Mesa comes out, gives up one, or goes an inning, or sorry, excuse me, goes a third of an inning, gives up one hit, one run. That's all his night suggests. Luis Santos comes out, gives up a couple hits, walks two batters, strikes out a guy, but doesn't give up anything in his two innings of work. Aaron Loop comes in, faces uh, in a third of an inning, faces his one batter, gets the guy. But then Chris Rowley comes out. You know, this guy had a great first start of his career, but ever since then, it's been rough. Goes an inning, one inning. Gives up six hits, six runs, wa- uh, obviously a home run, walks two. He was... Awful. And then Matt Dermody comes out, and as we've been saying lately, he's been pretty darn good. Goes two innings, gives up two hits, strikes out two batters, clean inning. ERA now down to 398. Luis, uh, Leonel Campos comes out for the ninth, or the, I guess the bottom of the eighth. Uh, goes a clean inning of work, striking out two batters. He was fine. But Chris Rowley sucked. Joe Biagini sucked. And really, that's all that mattered. Because combined, that's 12 of the 13 runs. Now, these games are going to happen. But I don't know about Joe Biagini as a starter. We really haven't seen any consistency from him. Literally, all we've seen is a couple good starts against the Orioles, and that's kind of it. He's been really shaky otherwise. Now, he's a guy that was in the bullpen yet last year and, you know, for half of this season. So, yeah, it's going to take some time to adjust. So maybe they're going to keep running him out there for the rest of the season. And stretch him out in spring training, pitch him through spring training, and who knows how he does. If he does well, maybe start him, depending on the rotation situation. But I think if you started the season next year with a healthy rotation, I think Joe B. Genie is in the bullpen. That's just my opinion. 
That's the way I feel about Be a Genie. That's the way I feel like he should be. That's where he is his best because he can dial it in for an inning, for two innings, because that's where he is, what we've seen, that's where he's his best, right? But with that being said, defensively, like I said, the Jays sucked. They committed a couple errors, leading to a run. Ryan Goins made one of those errors. Just not just not fundamental baseball. That's all it is. You don't make errors, you, they don't score a lot of runs. I mean, not all the time, but it's, it's just kind of what you go off of there. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, with the day off tomorrow for the Blue Jays, uh, they are now coming home to face the Kansas City Royals for three. So they got Marcus Stroman going in game one, Sam Gavilio going in game one for the Kansas City Royals. Um, you know, uh, who's going in game two? Brett Anderson's going into a uh, game two for the Jays. Jake Junis going on the mound for the Kansas City Royals. And Jason Vargas and Jay Happ is the uh, series finale. All right, that'll be on Thursday. But like I said, with the off day tomorrow, the Leafs preseason starts tomorrow. Now, I'm debating. I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream for that. I, I don't think so. Um, if you guys really are, seem interested in it, then I might I might do a little one for you guys uh, just to talk about the Leafs and stuff. It'll probably be strictly about the Leafs. You know, any Blue Jays, Raptors stuff, I might say a quick thing about it, but head back to the Leafs. It'll kind of be like a Leafs stream. So let me know if you guys are interested in that, possibly a thing tomorrow night. All right, so let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, that's going to do it for this one because this game, it, it stinks. Like we said, we don't know what we're going to see from one day to the next. We've seen pretty good Jays ball games over the last two days. And then you see today, just a mess. So that's going to do it for this one, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you are pumped for Leaf Hockey, kind of, to start tomorrow, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you guys think of, uh, you know, the bats. What do you think of Josh Donaldson as of late? This guy's been absolutely tearing the ball, a new one. I think he hit a ball like 481 feet today. That was the first home run. My God, that's a monster shot. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about that. What do you guys, what's your own situation on Joe Biagini? I really want to know what you guys think about that. And uh, like I've said, we'll talk to you guys. I, I guess it'll be, you know, tomorrow, Leafs edition. Um, video for sure. Not sure about live stream. Again, let me know what you guys, how you guys feel about that. But we will talk to you guys Monday, Leafs edition. Leafs Senator, 730 puck drop. First preseason game of the season. We'll talk to you guys Tuesday, Jays edition. Sam Gavilio, Marcus Stroman, game one back at the Rogers Center. Talk to you guys then.